Hope you're having a great day. Uh, I just wanted to reach out really quick, uh, make a quick video on um, an investing uh, strategy that I've been reading from Tony Robbins' book, Money Master the Game, The Seven Simple Steps to Financial Freedom. And this is what it looks like right here. Um, and as you know, you know, here at KBG, we don't just offer insurance services. We also offer financial services as well, uh, whether that's setting up an IRA, a 529 plan, uh, retirement planning. You know, we definitely have the, the resources to help you in all aspects of a, a full-fledged insurance and financial plan. So I want to start incorporating and, and putting out some, some tips and uh, uh, tactics um, that may be useful to you and your family, you know, to help save for your future, uh, whatever your financial goals may be. So we'll have to start talking more about that and, and not just include um, in insurance um, services. So uh, the basis of, of what I've learned so far in this book, you know, it's a 650 page book, but man, he, he gives a, a lot of information and just great, great knowledge and, and advice um, that he's he's learned from people, you know, from interviewing 10 of the most prominent um, investors in the world. And he, they give some some great uh, tips uh, to what's made them successful. So uh, today it's it's called the smart saving solution, and the basis is if it hurts too much to save more money now, just wait until your next pay raise. You know that that's really the premises of it, and understanding the concept of compounding, where obviously if you leave money somewhere for a long period of time, the longer you leave it there, the more money you have over time, right? And so he gives multiple examples and analogies where. One, for example, is say you were to save uh, $40 a week. Well, over a year, that's $2,000. And if you set that into a fund, earning X amount on, on average percent, you know, it could grow over to north over half a million dollars and he, he uses 8% uh, as the an average annual return for that, you know, if you save $2,000 a year. So great, great advice and, you know, examples like that to get you to really to think. And so this concept, Smart Saving Solution, uh, was founded by Shlomo Benartzi of UCLA Anderson School of Management and his colleague Richard Thaler of the University of Chicago. And the premise of the study was, in regards to people saving for the future, was people felt, you know, future is not real. It's so hard, so it's hard to save for the future of something that we don't, that may not come. So they, they first started with a study uh, addressing immediate gratification, right? Like something that feels good in the moment, as scientists call this uh, present bias. And Shlomo, um, they asked a group of students whether they wanted a banana or, or some chocolate for a snack when they met again in two weeks. So 75% of them said they wanted a banana when that two weeks came about. So in two weeks, they met again. 80% of the students said at that moment they wanted chocolate, you know. And so um, he said, you know, it's the same with saving. We know we should be saving. We know we'll do it next year, but we today we go out and spend, you know. So it's kind of a and a glimpse and an analogy of to this concept, the smart saving solution that they came up with. Um, so quick example, uh, they tested this theory on a, a company about 25 years ago where blue the blue, blue collared workers there uh, said they couldn't afford to squeeze another dime out of their paychecks, but the researchers persuaded uh, them to let their employers uh, automatically divert 3% of their salaries into a retirement account and then add 3% more every pay raise into that same retirement account. And so after just five years and three pay raises, uh, the employees and the results, they were, they were just astonishing. And uh, those employees who thought they couldn't afford to save were setting aside just under 14% of their paychecks. And 65% of them were actually saving an average of 19% of their salaries just after five years and three pay raises. So the basis of it obviously is every pay raise, you set a certain percentage and you save a certain percentage and it goes right into your retirement account, whatever that may be. Um, it, was, it was a, a great, I don't know, it's a great, great analogy and a, a great uh, tip that um, they've come up with, and a, a lot of employers use it these days. And of course, you'll still need to go out and you know make money, save it, and you know earn your pay raise. But at the same time, it, you know it can be hard to save now. But if we put that off into the future and say, okay, every pay raise is going to come out automatically. I don't even see it. You know, don't even touch it. It's a, it's amazing after a certain amount of years what what you could have and and what you could save. So. Uh, the one percent more savings calculator that um, is included is a, a great tool to use to kind of see what it's like of what you're saving now to where five years, ten years down the road, whatever it may be, what you could have uh, being consistent with it. Also helps with being self-employed as well, not just somebody working for a company. Um, so let's say let's go in here and say your average annual income is fifty thousand dollars and your current savings balance is five thousand dollars, and the percent you save each year right now, let's just call it five five percent. So everything you have, you say 5%, might be more, might be less. This is something you can come in and, and play around with. 
your annual salary increase, uh, let's say it's 3%. And again, these numbers can fluctuate with what you choose. Say you are a self-employed, maybe you go off your annual goals or um, year over year um, income of what you're making and how much you're averaging each year compared to the last year. So you can put that in there. Your expect expected annual return, uh, let's say it's 5% and your time horizon is, is 10 years. So let's input these here and this graph shows you where you'll be at um, saving how you currently are now, adding 1% and getting to the point where you get to a maximum of 16% per year. Um, you can save an extra $7,211 to $39,160 after 10 years, depending on how much you save and what you currently use. So with the current numbers right now, what they are here, if you were to continue along this trajectory, you'd save $42,162. Then as you can see, it increases if you were to save an extra 1% per year. And then if you get all the way up to the point where you're saving 16% per year, you can see what it goes up to. Um, but it was just a, a great yeah, tactic that uh, Tony gave in the book that I thought was, was uh, pretty cool and that you could maybe use for you and your family and maybe just add it to your current financial plan right now and maybe help you um, and your family save more for the future. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let us know. Uh, here to help you. And you know, one of our goals is to offer value and you know not just throw out, um, you know, just always ask for a quote and ask for your business, but we want to make sure we, we inform you as well and, and help you with what you need help with and, and be here as a resource for you and, and your family. So appreciate you watching. Hope you have a great day and uh, you're staying safe out there. Thank you.